uh, Tom McHale. I work for Pursuit Lending, and I oversee the loan and closing processing groups. So why do you consider pursuing an executive level MBA? So uh, rewind the clock to 2011 or so. Um, I was in a role here. I was overseeing a, a lending team or a sales team, but also had an interest in a number of other different departments. So for me, it was really getting um, exposure to different areas, different departments, different concentrations, whether it's accounting, finance, HR, marketing, um, stuff that I didn't have any expertise in for sure. Um, had some background in it here, but definitely not any expertise. So you made the decision to go with the MBA, why do you all bring this MBA program? Yeah, mostly convenience, honestly. Uh, the program speaks for itself in terms of the strength of the program and um, the quality of the program. So that was not really an issue for me. It was more the weekend schedule. Um, I've got four kids. They were of age where they were playing sports and that kind of thing. Um, but it was for me that the, the Friday, Saturday schedule was the only way I could have done it. I didn't want to have a case where I was pursuing an MBA for say five or six years mm -hmm. through the traditional program. So uh, that executive schedule really was just terrific. Okay, in many of the info sessions I, I host, Tom, as you know, I always ask why people are considering the MBA. And one reason that is never mentioned is money. Did you experience an earnings increase after graduation here? Absolutely. Um, I would say over the period of time since I've graduated, which was 2013, um, I've seen probably a 50% increase in um, whether it's base pay plus incentive or, or combination of both. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been it's been a nice uh, a nice little windfall to have that. Um, that opportunity. There's a lot to like about the program in terms of core structure, international trip, all inclusive nature. What part or what parts of the program do you like the best? I think the cohort structure for me. I mean, the international trip was great. We went to India, so that was awesome. Um, but the cohort structure allows you to, to be exposed to different people in different walks of life. So we had, in our group, we had a, some engineers from GE, we had a, an MD, um, we had some folks in the not-for-profit world. So it was really cool to, to hear their experiences, how they would handle a specific situation. Because there's a lot of interactive discussion that goes on during the classes, but yeah, for me, that it was definitely the cohort structure that was the, the most beneficial. So to whom would you recommend it? I would recommend it to anybody that has been, I would say they've been working for 10 years or so. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for somebody that's just out of college. It's, it, you need that sort of work and life experience to really be able to contribute to the program. So yeah, if you're on a track where you're uh, in, a, in a field or in a, in a job for say, 10 years or so, five, 10 years or so, and you're, you're, you're starting on a track where maybe you've got the potential to become a manager or supervisor, I, I think it's a perfect program. Uh, and even for those that are already in that role, they're, they're overseeing a department uh, and they're on that track. It, again, it, it's a great uh, program to get you exposed to all the different areas that you're probably not used to working in. Okay, by now you know the drill. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and thank you very much for watching.